Hello guys again and welcome back to another setup and testing of another TP-Link wireless N router model WR841N. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your router from the TP-Link Wi-Fi.net or from the app download from Google Store or iOS Store. Let's start. We can see we've got the quick setup. Next, you can choose here the operation mode, wireless router. WISP access point range extender wireless router next here you can uh, install the settings from your internet provider what do you have back WSP same and here you can use it as an access point choose the wireless uh, network name you can choose the password disable wireless security if you don't want more advanced wireless settings you can see the band mode the channel bandwidth and the channel number back you can use it as a range extender nice you can choose of course in the range extender the wireless that you want to extend next we have the status and here in the status you can see the firmware version the hardware version the LAN MAC address IP address subnet mask the wireless 2.4 enable it the name of your wireless, the mode, the channel, the MAC address, everything. Next to the network, you can see the LAN type is Smart IP DHCP or Static IP. And here you can check the MAC address, the IP address, and the sub subnet mask. Wireless. Here you can change some th settings of your wireless. You can disable your Wi-Fi, rename your Wi-Fi, change the channel, mode, WPS, you can enable your WPS button to the device. Wireless security. Here you can choose the to disable the wireless security or WPA, WPA2 or WPAN2 Enterprise. Recommended the personal first. And again, you can change some of the wireless password. We've got the version, the encryption, the authentication type, key format and save of course wireless MAC filtering enable deny allow wireless advance transmit power high middle low beacon interval 100 some settings for the wireless advance wireless static shows the MAC address current status receive packets send packets and SSID throughput monitor this page helps you to watch wireless throughput info, rate, runtime, transmit, receive, etc. etc. Guest network. You can configure guest network wireless setting on this page and you can give your Wi Fi password when a guest is arrived. And of course, you can uh, confirm when it will work that, what day, each day, each week, what time it will start, what time it will end, enable, disable, add. DHCP. The device is set up default as DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol server, which provides the TCP IP configuration for all the PCs that are connected to the device in the LAN. The client here, this page shows you the client name, MAC address, assign it IP, list time of each DHCP client connected to the device. Address reservation. When you specify a reserved IP address for PC in the LAN, the PC will always save the same IP address each time when it accesses the DHCP server. Reserved IP addresses could be assigned to servers and require permanent IP settings. System tools. Here you can change the time, the zone, where are you, in which country you are. You can get it from your PC automatically. Diagnostics. Diagnosis tools allow you to check the connection of your network component. Ping watchdog. Ping watchdog is dedicated for continuous monitor of the particular connection to remote host using the ping tool. Firmware update. You can upgrade your uh, TP-Link router. Factory defaults. You can restore it to your factory defaults. Backup restore. You can backup your settings of your router and restore them when it needed. Reboot, you can reboot your router or you can enable auto reboot and it will reboot when and which day you want to reboot your TP-Link router. 
password you can change the login password to your router system logs and you can log out if you want well guys that was all about how to set up and the menu of your tippling router let's check how it looks and to the app from the google app store you can use the tippling app scan the qr code that you can find to the box and download you can log in here to your router you can check your wi-fi router here we can change that we can go to the tools wireless there you can change the name and the password guest network you can turn off or on the guest network share wi-fi you can share with the qr code your wi-fi password operation mode wireless router access point it is current range extender it is your choice how you want to work system login account you can log in reboot factor defaults logout some specs in the app that it can may help you without uh, logging from a laptop or pc well that's nice everything and i think it's time to test it to see uh, the speed when i'm copying some files from uh, my laptop from my pc and from my smart my server and i will check of course the internet speed through the wi-fi um, antennas Well guys that was all about this uh, test for the TP-Link router. I think it's a value of money router. It costs about 20 to 22 euros. It has two big antennas that it will help very much for the transmission and the speed for your internet and copy some files. You have seen the results. Of course it's not a 5G antenna, it's 2.4. That's for you don't expect a miracles. Well, that was all guys thank you again for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel like or like my videos your choice share this video you never know who may need it and don't forget to see right in the corners my other videos testing other models and routers have a nice and lovely day
Bye-bye.